Blender version 2.8 had already sent supernovic shockwaves throughout the 3D content creation industry because of its EV real-time rendering system, which looks super gorgeous by the way, and its revamped user interface that placed user friendliness as priority above everything else. Finally. <laughs> you see, Blender is actually very, very powerful, but like a naughty child, for the longest time, it simply refuses to play ball with industry standards. So it's like a secret gem that's growing in power until one fine day it explodes when its power becomes undeniable. And it brings me so much joy to say that that day has arrived. There are a ton of people lining up to get into the Blender train now and this video is specifically created for all of you who wants to come into the Blender family who were previously from other 3D content creation softwares. By the end of this and future videos, you will come to appreciate the day you make the switch to Blender. May I present to you a selection of the finest preference settings for Blender 2.8. This video assumes a fresh copy of Blender 2.8 with no modifications applies and batteries not included. Let's go. First thing, head straight to the preference section. Uncheck the splash screen chat box. We don't need to see that again. Check emulate numpad. Check orbit around selection and zoom to mouse position. Check auto run Python scripts. Most add-ons require this to work. Under the system tab, if you have a dedicated graphic card that Blender can utilize, it will show up here. In my case, I got nuts, so I will just select none. Now go to the key map tab. Choose key binding. Type in F1 here and kill it. Now type in F3. Click on it and press F1. The option will disappear. This is normal. Now type in Z and kill it under 3D view. Under Window, click Add New. Assign F3 to it. Type this in and select Wireframe in the drop-down box. Press F4 and kill it. Click the X button and scroll all the way down under Window. Click Add New. Click here and press F4. Type in this two text. Under 3D View, 3D View Global. Assign the shortcut key of your choice to Rotate, Pen, Zoom, and View Selected. These are the keys I have assigned to it. Type in 5, click on it and press 7. It will disappear after you have pressed 7. Press 1. Expand what's under the 3D view. Select this option and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Press 2. Expand this and overwrite this with what's in your clipboard by pressing Ctrl plus V. Choose back. Press 3. Expand this and choose left. Press 4. Expand this and overwrite this with what's in your clipboard by pressing Ctrl plus V. Choose right. Click the X button here. Under the 3D view, scroll all the way down and click Add New. Press here and press 5. Expand it and paste in what's in your clipboard by pressing Ctrl plus V. Choose Top. 
press 6. Expand this and overwrite this with what's in your clipboard by pressing Ctrl plus V. Choose Bottom. Under 3D View, Mesh, Mesh Global. Scroll all the way down and click Add New. Click here and press Tab on your keyboard. Select Control here. And paste this text in. Change key binding back to name. Type redo. Click here and change this back to Ctrl plus Y to match standard. Type in quote and override it with Alt plus W. Change this back to key binding. Type in wheel. And under 3D view, kill off these two options. Save the preference settings by clicking here and close the preference dialog. Turn off navigator here. Those things only look nice for like 5 minutes. After that, they are just blocking your view. Select map cap and choose the fifth material. This particular material makes it extremely easy to see the curvature and definitions of your mesh while modeling. You may choose other materials if it suits you. Make sure to enable backface curling. This should have been turned on by default. Click here and choose Cycles. Click here to turn on Random Seed. Under Film, check these two transparent options. Now click on this and select Render Region to make sure rendering power isn't wasted on areas that won't show up during final render. Select the camera. Then click here and select Full Frame Camera. Finally, click on File, Defaults, Save Startup File. And you are done. Now that you have matched all the settings, these are your newfound Blender powers that will make perfect sense to you the minute you start using Blender. Alright, that's it for this video. Check out my other Blender videos and so much more that I can't fit inside the frame. Please support me in Patreon to help me continue this fun journey. This is Bracel Jack and I will see you next time.